Welcome back. Your time is 646. We have another golden glow across the Kern County this morning. Yeah, when we built this studio, I'll tell you <laughs> the best part about it is this window yes, behind I me. I love it so <laughs> much. We can see that beautiful sunrise each and every morning. So not only do you get to see it looking out your window, well, we get to see it as well. So. And, and we call it a, our window, window because we have routed our live pictures yeah. into it. Is it really a window to both Kern, uh, Bakersfield and to Hatchbeat? No. No. Uh, but <laughs> we can they're, switch it. They're humongous TV screens that uh, make look like windows and we get to share the beautiful it's sunrises so nice. all around the area so and that's exactly what we're seeing no matter where you're at this morning so hopefully you'll get up and you'll look outside you'll enjoy the uh, beautiful conditions and right now uh, taking you downtown Bakersfield where you can see just a few of these clouds still remain but they'll continue to move out as we go throughout the morning the afternoon is looking great around Kern County here's a look at our school delays and yeah we have a couple El Tajon Unified School District on a two-hour delay, and then Peak to Peak Mountain Charter on a two-hour delay because of snow and ice they did receive yesterday. Uh, but a lot of this will melt off as we go throughout the day. And you can see around Kern County, just a beautiful shot. Doesn't matter where you're at. The morning commute also looking very nice along the 99 near Panama and also Mohawk at Rosedale. Here's a look at temperatures. 36 in Delano right now, 38 in Shafter, 43 in Bakersfield, and then into the mountains, 20s and 30s to Hatchby. Still holding on to that 32, 27 out of Lake Isabella. And again, for the most part, skies are clear. A few remaining clouds that our satellite is not even picking up right now. But no rain associated with those. And the rain is all gone for the month of January. But we're not complaining because we're ending out the month just shy of two inches. Normally for the month of January, we should be just slightly over an inch. So we're up three quarters of an inch and we're up big time for that hundredth of an inch we picked up last year in the month of January. Around the state, if you're traveling today, you're not going to run into any issues whatsoever. We're looking at clear skies uh, from the south to the north, even along the coastal areas, looking very nice this afternoon. Here's a look at Lake Tahoe as the sun comes up this morning. Beautiful, clear conditions. Going to be a nice day there. Still a little chilly. And we've got a little bit of ridging that's going to build on in here, bringing our temperatures up here in Bakersfield. But then we're going to be looking at a change right around Friday. A couple of systems we're going to be tracking. Uh, one will bring in some cloud cover. The other, by Sunday into early Monday, could bring in a slight chance of some showers. But in the short term, here. We got a little bit of ridging in place. Take a look at the national weather. We are tracking a little bit of the mixed precipitation, some sleet and some snow showers in parts of central Texas. And then you can see this front pushing uh, to the northeast, bringing some showers into the Carolinas. And one area I want to take you this morning where there's no rain, but just beautiful conditions is along the Florida coast. And we're going to take you to St. Pete Beach. And you can see folks are already starting to lay out their lounge chairs. It's only 68 degrees. But but they're marking their spot for a beautiful day. A few high clouds out that direction, but St. Pete Beach on this Tuesday morning. Here's a look at temperatures across the country. Salt Lake 24, 29 in Denver. Bismarck, North Dakota at 15. And look at Chicago today. They're at 12 degrees. So a lot of cold air around the country, but Miami is looking beautiful. 81 this afternoon. Here's a look at our forecast. Air quality moderate throughout the afternoon. AQI at 78. And today, sunny skies, and it will be a little bit warmer. Out of the 40s and back into the 50s. Bakersfield, 55. 53 in Delano. 54 in Buttonwillow. And then for the mountains, at the Kern River Valley, sunny skies, a north wind 5 to 10. Winds could guess right around 35. We're looking at 45 in Fraser Park. 46 in Tehachapi with 50s returning into the Kern River Valley. Lake Isabel at 54 today. Still a cool day out of Altasir at 40. And then as we take a look at the uh, desert forecast, sunny, breezy, a northwest wind 10 to 15. Could see some isolated gusts right near 45 and 50 in Mojave. Here's a look at that extended forecast for you tomorrow. We're going to be right near 61, 66 on Thursday, slightly cooler on Friday with a few clouds rolling on in, and then there's that slight chance of a shower Sunday, lingering maybe into Monday for you, and then for the mountains to Hatchby. Uh, you're looking at 52 tomorrow. We'll keep you in the 50s throughout Sunday. You also have a slight chance of a shower uh, on Sunday, lingering maybe into Monday morning, but temperatures will fall for all of Kern County, and you can see by uh, Monday into Hatchby, 44 degrees. Into the Kern River Valley, your temperatures are going to be up and down. 50s and 60s, lower 50s return early next week, and a slight chance of a shower rolling in on Sunday as well. That's a look at your forecast. We'll send it back over to you.